Hello everyone. Today, I will update my last tutorial on port forwarding. Port forwarding is a crucial step to ensure a smoother and more stable connection when playing online games like Valorant. It allows external devices to communicate with your computer or gaming device by directing traffic through specific ports on your router. This process can help resolve connectivity issues, such as high latency, packet loss, or the inability to connect to servers. Valorant, developed by Riot Games, uses a range of TCP and UDP ports for various game features, including matchmaking, voice chat, and spectator mode. Forwarding these ports ensures that game data can flow efficiently, bypassing any potential blocks set by your network or firewall. Some common reasons for setting up port forwarding for Valorant include Number 1. Fixing connection drops during gameplay. Number 2. Improving voice chat clarity by ensuring uninterrupted data flow. Number 3. Enhancing match stability, particularly in custom or spectator modes. Overcoming NAT network address translation restrictions which can prevent proper communication between devices the video you just watched in it you can see ping spikes that jump from 40 milliseconds to 180 milliseconds which is a significant increase in both peak and average with such spikes you can never win a dual fight it's kind of impossible it creates an environment where you get the bullet first but your bullet takes time to register still it's playable as you can see in the video. Even though I'm playing deathmatch, where people move fast, shoot fast, and there's no scary mode or nerves mode active during deathmatch because there's no fear in deathmatch. So players can play with their full potential, which makes sense to use port forwarding, especially when your internet connection is bad. Now let me clear my previous configuration first, and I will configure it again in front of you and explain each step so you can easily figure out how to configure it on any router. By the way, I'm configuring it on a Huawei company model. Basically, it's PTCL flash fiber, but the router manufacturer is Huawei, so technically, the interface of this router is just like Huawei's. Now, we will configure the router settings. According to my router, it asks for a name. You can use any name you like for the service. It's for identification purposes. Protocol. The protocol is specified for each port of Valorant's port forwarding. I'll guide you through those in just a moment. WAN connection. Leave it set to automatic. Typically, the router will select this automatically for you, as it supports both IPv4 and IPv6 connections. This should work perfectly for gaming. WAN host IP address. You can leave this as is. Since this is a home setup, there's no need to worry about a specific WAN host IP for devices. This would be necessary only in an organizational or more complex setup. Now let's move on to WAN port and LAN host port. Here we'll use the ports provided on Riot Games' client website for Valorant port forwarding. I'll include the link in the description for you to access the exact port numbers needed. First open the CMD as administrator and type ipconfig and hit enter. Now note down your IPv4 address as we will use it LAN host. By the way, WAN port and LAN host. Port, don't be confused here. WAN port. This is the port number that the outside world, external devices, will use to communicate with your router. Think of it as the external door through which incoming traffic passes to your local network. The WAN port should be the port number that Valorant or the service your port forwarding requires, as provided by Riot Games. For example, Riot might provide port ranges like 7,000 to 8,000 for the game client, so you'll enter these port numbers in the WAN port field. LAN host port. This is the local port number on your internal network that the router will forward traffic to. This port corresponds to the specific device, your computer, console, etc., that will receive the traffic from the WAN port. Usually, this will be the same as the WAN port, unless you have a specific reason to map it differently. Now we note down everything, just watch me how I'm configuring it. Do same and if you have any question, ask me in the comment section. These steps are easy, copy and paste as it is. Name, then make sure it's TCP or UDP, then copy the IPv6 that note down from ipconfig command, and then port as it is. As I said, WAN port is coming and LAN host port are outgoing, 
we choose both same. That's it. Restart your router and enjoy the smooth gameplay. If you love this guide, hit the like button and subscribe it. If you have any question, ask me in the comment section. See you in the next video. Till then, bye bye.